top of the evening to you boys and girls. We're going to do a little saw test comparison. We ran these two earlier. Um, we have a, that's actually my 462. We're sporting a K&N air filter system. That saw has about 450,000 board feet cut or something like that. Plus at least a sod, a dump truck load of sawdust full. We're talking 12 yard or two. Um, with all the saw testing that that thing's done. So, pretty good amount of time. We ran it against this saw right here, another 462 in stock form, and it wasn't doing that great necessarily. And then we have zipped this particular saw, went about as far as I can go. You can see the tape on the air cleaner cover. Um, there's a hole in there. We're gonna fit this with the k and in the second test run with this saw. So the first test run, we're going to use all stock components, and then we'll run it again, and we're going to swap out and put a K&N on it. And it's actually the bigger version K&N than what you see on my saw. Now, porting technique, that saw was done in 2017. It is August of 2019. So by rights the saw should run a little bit better in two counts first of all that was the first try almost a year and nine months ago or something and this is a much later version so with any luck this one will run a little bit better right um my lovely bride's going to help out with the tax so she'll hand me the paper i'll be able to read off what the numbers are doing bar change in the middle of course and so let us begin.
Okay, so we'll have a little look-see. So you can see the standard HD2 element. Can you hand me that cane in, please, dear? Trade me. Thank you. Because I have a nice little case of CRS, I can't remember if I mentioned, we're sporting a 30 inch Oregon lightweight and some full comp Windsor chain. I like that chain. Um, that is not a bar you can just go buy, something I made or conjured up in the shop technically. Thanks to my lovely bride for helping out with the tachometer situation. And I'm going to be curious to see if there's much of a differential between the K and the HD2 with mine in particular. It picked up a second or second and a half or something, so I'm hoping that we're going to see some kind of a gain here. Um, I think mine might be just a fuzz faster, but I guess that could be wishful thinking at this point. <laughs> so, anyway, if we're looking at the situation we see that they're running similar and they're running similar so 
they're not too far off. I try to be equal in the amount of pressure I apply to the handlebars. It's not always a perfect situation. We'll check the time runs out in the description. That'll kind of sum it up a little bit better. Anyway, thanks for watching this session. Have a blessed day wherever you might be on God's green earth. Thanks for watching.